A good day to you. Today is December 2, Friday of the first week of Advent. The Gospel story that we have today has two blind men following Jesus. Both of them are asking Jesus to heal them, and they refer to Jesus as the Son of David. Whenever anyone in the Gospel makes of Jesus the Son of David, the title is Acknowledgement of God's Plan for Our Salvation and how God is faithful to his promise. So they are remembering the promises that God has made and are coming to Jesus asking that those promises be fulfilled in their lives. Why is it that Jesus only grants their requests once they enter the house? He could have easily stopped his travels and given them their sight, the request that they were making. But he waits until he enters the house and they follow him inside. To follow Jesus means to be able to see Jesus. They are unable to see him with their eyes of flesh, but certainly the eyes of their heart are open to all that Jesus has for them. And there's a pattern that is at work here. They speak to Jesus, they follow Jesus, and Jesus listens to them, and Jesus gives to them their request. A request that is colored by the quality of their faith. If Jesus waits until he enters the house, before granting their request. It is because he knows that their faith must improve, must grow, must be willing to produce a fruit. Because the gift of faith is not just for ourselves, it always is meant to be shared with others. The Lord does listen, but the Lord will act at the moment that is appropriate so that each one of us can take full advantage of the gift that has been given to us. These two brothers in the faith model for us great trust in the ways of Jesus. And during this Advent season, that same trust is to be at work in our lives. Always remember that we speak to Jesus, that we follow Jesus, knowing that Jesus listens and will always give of himself to us, always for our good and always a good that we are meant to share with our brothers and sisters. A blessed day to you and to loved ones. And as you continue on this Advent journey, keep your heart ever ready to hear the words that the Savior speaks to you and through you to your loved ones.